Next, we will focus on discrete random variables, their properties and applications. Let's recall the definition. A discrete random variable is a random variable whose possible values can be listed. Consider tossing a coin with zero assigned to heads and one to tails, and let x be the outcome of the experiment. By definition, we can list the outcomes and their probabilities side by side in the form of a table. The table that summarizes the possible values of a variable x and the corresponding probabilities is called the probability distribution table of x. Note that the sum of all probabilities must add up to 1. Consider rolling a die and let y be the outcome of the experiment. We construct the probability distribution table for y by listing all possible outcomes and their probabilities side by side in the form of a table. Again, note that the sum of all probabilities must add up to 1. Sometimes it takes more effort to create the probability distribution table. Consider the following example. Let u be the number of heads out of two tosses of a fair coin. To construct the probability distribution table for u, we list all possible outcomes along with their probabilities side by side in the form of a table. This time, the probability of each outcome is not that easy to observe and has to be computed. The probability that u is equal to 0 is the same as the probability of 0 heads among two tosses, which we compute using the formula from the previous section, and is equal to 0 0.25. Similarly, the probability that u is equal to 1 is the same as the probability of 1 heads among two tosses, which we again compute using the formula from the previous section, and is equal to 0 0.5. Finally, the probability that u equals 2 is the same as the probability of getting two heads among two tosses, which we again compute using the formula from the previous section, and is equal to 0 0.25. Easy to verify that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Let's increase the number of tosses and consider the following example. Let v be the number of heads out of three tosses of a fair coin. To construct the probability distribution table for v, we list all possible outcomes along with their probabilities side by side in the form of a table. Again, the probabilities of each outcome is not that easy to observe and has to be computed. The probability that v is equal to 0 is the same as the probability of getting 0 heads among 3 tosses, which we compute using the formula from one of the previous sections and is equal to 0 0.125. Similarly, the probability that v is equal to 1 is the same as the probability of getting 1 heads among 3 tosses, which we again compute using the formula from one of the previous sections and is equal to 0 0.375. Similarly, the probability that v equals 2 is the same as the probability of 2 heads among 3 tosses, which we again compute using the formula from one of the previous sections and is equal to 0 0.375. And finally, the probability that v equals 3 is the same as the probability of getting 3 heads among 3 tosses, which we again compute using the formula from one of the previous sections, and is equal to 0 0.125. It is easy to check again that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Consider another example. Let u be the number of heads out of 2 tosses of an unfair coin, for which the tails are twice as likely as heads. To construct the probability distribution table for W, we list all possible outcomes, along with their probabilities, side by side in the form of a table. As in the previous two examples, the probability of each outcome is not that easy to observe and has to be computed. The probability that W is 0 is the same as the probability of getting 0 heads among two tosses which we compute using the formula from one of the previous sections, and is equal to 0 0.44. Similarly, the probability that w equals 1 is the same as the probability of getting 1 heads among 2 tosses, which we again compute using the formula from one of the previous sections, and is equal to 0 0.44. Finally, the probability that w equals 2 is the same as the probability of getting 2 heads among 2 tosses, which we again compute using the formula from one of the previous sections, 
n is equal to 0 0.11. It is again easy to verify that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. In this case, there is a rounding error. Sometimes the probability distribution table can be created using the theoretical probabilities as in the previous three examples. However, sometimes the frequency distribution table can be used as an approximation for the probabilities. In the next example, we discuss how to use data to define a random variable. Assume that the following data was collected and organized into the frequency distribution table. Although the data only represents a sample, assuming that the sample is representative of the population, we can use it to approximate the distribution of the population. If we let x be the number of cars owned by a randomly selected student, the relative frequency distribution table can be easily converted into the probability distribution table for x. We just learned that a discrete random variable can be described entirely by the probability distribution table, which is basically the list of all possible values of the variable along with their probabilities.